And we're back with the fourth episode of the Soma Adventure. Last time we left off, I wasn't very happy. And we all know why. Because this monstrosity is just walking around. And it freaks me the hell out. Now, the only good thing about these monsters is that they're incredibly slow. That's it. I don't even want to turn on my flashlight in fear of him seeing it. Also, apparently I was wrong. Apparently, they're incredibly fast when they want to be. Oh, this part. This is going to be the one part that I don't want anything to do with. I just, I don't. I hate it so much. I think I think one of the immediate problems with this guy is it seems like he has 360 coverage with that head of his. Yep. So... From what I gather... From what we just seen... If we don't look at him, he doesn't know we're here. Which means that for him to have a head like that means he's utterly blind. That's good for me. It was bad for him. Or maybe maybe I'm just retarded and I don't actually know what I'm talking about. That could be another thing. Oh, this is so freaky. I was gonna have this episode out earlier today. But I, I really don't have any other excuse other than I just I just forgot. I had full plans of doing it this morning, and then uh, not touching it until tomorrow, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen now. Good news, he can't open doors, but it doesn't seem like he can teleport around them either. So it's like if you get seen, you just quickly like close the door. Close it in his face. Like, I'm kind of waiting for him to make another pass. If he makes another pass, that'd be great. where he goes and which direction he likes to take. But as of right now, I just don't know where he's at. I hear him walking, like, right right here. Like, if he was stuck in this. 
Okay, my screen's starting to get fuzzy now. Which means it's like right... Okay, he didn't see me. Where'd he go? All right, we're gonna have to. We're gonna tempt fate here. All right, what is this? That's interesting. Oh, this is really... I feel like I can stop him from going certain ways if I close doors. Like, if I, if I get to a door before he can walk to it and shut it... Or maybe I can trap him in a room with closed doors. He doesn't seem to be capable of knowing what to do in that instance. Damn. Yeah, he's like, he really messes up your senses. live chat open real quick. Forgot to do that right off the bat. Alright, live chat's open. He's like really close. Oh god, no! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm okay. I seem Why am I limping? Okay, hold up. This is where I need to go. How do I get there? So correction, he can't come here. Why am I so hurt? He must have like broke my leg. Just me or does it seem unusually dark. Like, wasn't it lit up in there?
a little confused about the overall situation. Alright, here he comes. Oh, whoops, I forgot. Leaning and opening things requires the same... So the overall obje objective is to not be seen at all. Which shouldn't be too hard, because all I gotta do is quickly hide if I need to. Okay, he's walking by. Okay, okay, I should be safe. What does this do? <laughs> no! I'll have you know I didn't know such thing. I did nothing. Oh my god, I hate this creature. This creature sucks! No door. Great. No! I'm out of here! Screw you! I'm leaving! No! I hate you! I never once loved you. I hate that thing. I hate it so much. I... Here we go. You made it. This is much better. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Yes, please. Uh, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. You're there's really funny. There's out there. Like the ones we saw at Lambda. The more reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, oh, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know. I'm going. Did she say my circuits? Something is stabilizing the ship.
We need to let it know this is an emergency. Yeah, that can just... You know. I was really hoping that was... I am losing my mind. There's a toilet there, and a sink there, and a toilet there, and a sink there that's facing... No. No. life. If this was my life, I would that's what I would be saying. I hate my life. Don't tell me he's right here. Why won't he just go away? No! Come on! Oh, this is not okay. Look, he's even coming in here. Dude's an asshole. Alright, I know he's on the other side of the door. I don't know if anyone else saw, but it distinctly looked like his body was just a... Like, like, if anyone here has played Amnesia? It just looked like... The amnesia, like, monster body, but with just a big daddy head. That's the only way I can describe what I just saw. Why did he have to be right there? Like, literally, right there. What are there. those things? They look like people. Really messed up people. I think they could be dead people brought back. To life? Sure. Well, let's call it that. Thank you, Catherine, for this casual conversation while wow, there's a monster right outside the door. And he just, he won't leave that area. Like, he keeps pathing back and forth to that area. This isn't good. He's not leaving either. I wonder if... Here we go. Just gotta... Or not? Come on, man. Yeah. 
You know what, dude? I ain't afraid of you. Well then. You died. <laughs> Did I really? Ugh. What an inconvenient thing that was. Like, it really was. Like, I was having such a hard time getting around him. Go to the engine room, she says. Tell the computer that you're trying to leave, she says. Just hack it. You're a robot. Robots can do that, right? Something is stabilizing the ship. We need to let it know this is an emergency. Shut up, Catherine. I'm gonna... Did it work? How did that work? So just don't look at him. Like, just look this way the whole time and he'll never see me. Riveting gameplay experience. 10 out of 10. Don't look at the monsters and they don't know you're there. That's exactly what's happening right now. I'm not seeing them, therefore he can't see me. I'm sorry. I wish this was more exciting. Could count the amount of textured moss there is on this wall. So far it looks like just one massive clump. It's not really moss, is it? It's algae. like hanging around So hurt 
All he did was walk up to me and push me down. What I'm more concerned about immediately is why why would controls for an emergency shuttle be in the engine room? Why would they not be in the emergency shuttle? He can't he can't open doors if I don't know if he doesn't know I'm in there. Screw it, we're just gonna get business done in here. Find out if this is the room, if it's not. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Yippee, skippy. Big ol' algae. Okay, so... Apparently we made it by completely skipping him. And that looks like our way out. That's really creepy. Stop it. Even know what direction we're going in. Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the Wow was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the Wow. 
Station wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like, uh, it's more like a cancer. Was that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Brace for impact! Hold on! The flag just push us all the flags out! What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. That's a really nice way to let someone know you're gonna die. As you hit. Get up, dude. I love my little buddy. This would be so cool living at the bottom of the ocean, but not this old, you know, entire horror situation. No, screw all this. Judging by the looks of things, this has been going on for a long time. Like a really long time. Thank you. what happened to him. Whatever it was, it wasn't pleasant. I 
I don't know what that did. If that did anything. Alright, so we're here at Delta. Oh, wow. I like how he just gets to work. seeing it more and more. I'm trying to think of what, what, what is that? I think that's like health. Like if I get hurt, I can use that? I, I don't know. Or maybe that gives me more health? Is there a computer in here that I can use? Oh, thank God. Here we go. So he's K-8. Wait, wait, hold up. Go back to that? That's what we've been seeing, is the bulls. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen anything like that yet. And then there's those. We haven't seen that yet. Checks. Delta is next to Theta. Theta is next to Om Omicron, and then Tau, and then Phi. I don't understand. I want to get to Delta. Where do we go? I'm out of here, dude. I don't know what that is. I don't know where to go, though. Oh, come on. This is so disorienting and confusing, because it's... I saw a sign back there that distinctly said Delta, but there's nothing there. Yeah, right there, Delta. But there's nothing... Well, this is something else, I think. Let's see, what's this? Oops. 
two lambda. So I need to I need to turn around because I see the HQ and I see the landing platform, but that doesn't help me any because I don't have any kind of craft to get me out of here. going to the comm antenna. Yep, here we go. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Hell of a day. Am I right? Can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. Please don't attack me. I think I need some vacation soon. I have to speak with Acres about that. Isn't that right, Acres? Yeah. You put in a good word for me. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing. Nah. I'm just messing with you. Appear to be eyeballs. Okay. Yep, those are eyeballs. Wow. The light is hurting my eyes. He's telling me I don't need this flesh. It's like my skull to see salvation. I would love to stop. She's carrying this divine mission. What? So this dude just tore his own eyeballs out? What the hell? I'm done, dude. What? This is some Dead Space cult shit, man. And the black blood of Warden whispers. They need to save them from this hell. Let them sleep. Lock them in the lucid dreams I've seen. What? Sounds like there's something in there. Dude, this is nightmarish. Um, it's exciting to watch WoW claim data. Half a year ago, I'd be worried. I'd have Goya and Lynn clean the black blood from the machinery. Now its crusty surface has seemed to complement it, even outshine what Delta was. What? This is so messed up. I want to know how there's maggots at the bottom of the ocean. And what makes me even more interested in the fact that there's maggots in the ocean is we just fell off of of a what? Plateau? We fell off of an ocean plateau. Well, 
Little buddy, I don't know what to do. So this is this is all of Delta. God, that was freaky. Hey, could you maybe help? I need to get the Theta. Don't stand there, you know better than that. Listen. Help me out here, will you? Brandon, did you move the Carthage casing? We need to test that one before we ship it. Hey, can you hear me? Make yourself useful. Hey, you. Don't stand there, you know better than that. Man, you can really tell when Astrid is off platform. This place turns to this. Alright, it said that Theta was just straight this way. But I don't know what to do. So far, I've not gotten any hints as to where I need to go. Oh, hello. Um. Are you okay? Um. Okay. I'm gonna leave now. Little buddy, I'm scared. Whoa, did you see that? There was something on the screen that wasn't this. Strasky, we can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set roots. Fulgen did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. I guess it doesn't matter now. Are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Acres is set up being a stubborn old man. Alright. <laughs> See you soon, Brandon. Happy e back. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. I, I mean, Mr. Acres, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Um, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> Alright, so clearly this Acres guy went overboard and may have started this. Oh, here we go, a couple more rooms I didn't see. Rested shut. Probably for the best. Not sure I trust the shuttle train anymore. Wow, this is a very annoying chapter. Here we go. Here we go. It's everywhere. What? Hello? All about water. We're drowning. 
Who is this? Alan. What's your name? Simon. Where... What are you? Alan, can you hear me? Alan? Wow, that's creepy as fuck. I think that was him. Okay, let's figure this out. Transport active. Unspecified cargo. Oh, that's great. Zeppelin's on its way. Gotta get ready. Oh my god, that was so loud. That's definitely the Zeppelin. unknown cargo and I got scared ah! calm down we're safe oh it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that where are we now Delta at least that's what you said before the crash oh right of course is this a Zeppelin appropriately named you think you can get us to theta it's a cargo transport they use them for moving materials between the sites anything that's too big for the shuttles I'm sure it can carry us. Ah, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us the chip. What? <sighs> Guess I have no choice. Fucking... No. Not my little buddy. I won't ever hurt my little buddy. So brutal and unnecessary. I hope this works. Yeah, I better not have to kill little buddy. I don't understand what's going on with this guy.
Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? We really needed that ship. We'd, we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere. Present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Wow, we like got super real for a second and you just had to be that person. I can't wait to beat this game, honestly. It's getting really dark. We're in the ocean. It's really dark. We're loading. The frame rate, the texture pack seem to have changed. Was that a map? human but then how can I feel like Simon how can I feel like anything at all I mean technically I don't have any ears no mouth Christ that's a weird thing to think about I mean I'm making sounds I'm still saying things you sure are <sighs> okay your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human and your mind only knowing one way to perceive the world superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. We're getting too weird. So my mind That's is turtle? covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omnitool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside data, okay? See you soon. Why won't you answer my questions? Theta. Who is that? Mark? No, 
We haven't met before. Is this Hawk? I think we're safe. Oh, I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. Don't worry, Robin. I'm just going to unplug you over here in a second. How did you get here? I got scanned. Like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Wow, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living skin in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon, so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmire when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. Temptation is drawing me to, to pull this. I don't understand. Sorry, but I, I already knew you were preventing me from progressing. It, it's just, and even if you weren't, I, I had full plans. What a complex system. really scary. Another door. I feel like I shouldn't have killed them now. Okay, that was really weird. I just got sent to my Hello? menu for no reason. Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. 
actually really well lit in here. Well, we're going to end this episode here. And so far, it's been a pretty good one. Except for the needless slaughter of poor robot out there. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I had a strong feeling that we weren't going to get anywhere unless they died. So here we are. We finally made it to Theta, and we're going to look for the Dunbat, which is a giant vessel that will get us to... Oh, uh, I forget what it is. Tau? I think it has to be Tau. Yeah, I think it's Tau. I can't remember what all was said. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw and you want more, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribes, the more content and the more games and all that good stuff. So, without further ado... Goodbye, and see you next time.